Thank you very much, uh, Louise and Darius, for inviting me. Um, I'm going to give a very quick and brief and short uh, uh, overview of what Creative Commons uh, is and what we do. Uh, I'm going to leave the details about uh, copyright policy and all to the other speakers. I think they're much more placed than me to really go into, uh, to in, into that in detail. Um, for those of you, I assume you're all more or less familiar with uh, the organization of Creative Commons, but I would like to, uh, to dot the I's for those of you who aren't. Um, Creative Commons is an American non-for-profit organization, and um, what, they do, what they do is they have developed six licenses which can be, uh, viewed, uh, uh, which can be uh, viewed as tools for users to um, share their, um, yeah, their works, whatever works so in whatever area it is, more, uh, more effectively. Um, it's not an alternative for copyright, it's actually, it builds upon existing copyrights, but whereas um, traditional copyright actually uh, departs from the idea, okay, how do I switch from, <laughs> how do I switch screens? Okay, so that's what, what, that's, um, what Creative Commons does. It allows you to share your work um, with one major um, um, feature that it is, it, you always gain your attribution, you always re re retain your attribution, um, but then you can add some additional, uh, additional conditions to your license. Um, so, as I said, like where traditional copyright departs from, departs from the idea that uh, it's all rights reserved, um, Creative Commons actually can be described as some rights reserved. So, people can uh, reuse your work, can, um, if, you, if you want to, they can uh, remix it even, they can redistribute it, uh, but you as an author can set your own terms. Um, oh, this is very, sorry, this is very a very small typeface, but you will see it on the, on the slides. This is a very short overview of what licenses, uh, which six Creative Commons licenses exist. Uh, the first one, the upper one, is actually public domain dedication, which is, of course, not a, a license, but which is something that you can do with your work. You can, uh, by applying that, you can uh, dedicate it to the public domain, which means that everybody can do everything they want with it. Um, then you have the two more, most liberal licenses, which is a CC BY and a CC BY share alike license. Um, Perhaps it's also useful to, um, to say that they're compliant with the open definition. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that means that that's work, um, yeah, if, you, if you're compliant with the open definition, work is as, um, as maximal reuse and uh, remixing as, as possible. Um, then you, if you go down a bit, you, you, have the, you have the CC by share alike license, which is basically the same as a CC BY, but uh, the new work has to be shared under the same, um, under the same conditions, under identical terms. Um, then you have the non-derivatives version, which means that uh, it has to be um, yeah, reused, unchanged, and in whole, so you cannot pick part of the work. Uh, you have the non-commercial, which is most evidently, um, uh, it's cannot use for commercial purposes, uh, which is less simple than it seems because as you might all know, it's sometimes it's very difficult to define what is commercial and what is not commercial, and um, especially in GLAMS, I don't, I don't know if a lot of people from you are from the gallery and libraries section, uh, it's, it's a very thin line and it's not always clear whether, you can, um, whether it's uh, suitable to apply a non-commercial license or not. Uh, and then you have the, the very strict licenses, which is the non-commercial share-like and the non-commercial non-derivatives, which, which are combinations of the uh, above set. Um, one unique feature of the Creative Commons license is that they're very, uh, it's, they're very user friendly, um, and they're also uh, they're based on three levels. So they work on three levels. You have the um, the human readable version, which is what you will see if you click on a Creative Commons license, if you click on the hyperlink, and then you will get like you you arrive on one nice web page, which uh, says in very human readable terms what you can do or cannot do with the work. Um, but also, of course, behind that, there's a legal code, which is uh, a lot more elaborated. And then also, there's a machine-readable version of this code, which allows, um, like for example, I assume you've all um, heard the news this week about Google Images now being able to search for licenses. That is the machine-readable, uh, the digital code allows Google to, uh, to develop this function. So, um, because it works on these three levels, it's very uh, suitable to share digital content um, like you wanted. And also it's, like I said, we're very user friendly. Um, it's basically, if you want to apply a Creative Commons license, 
on the condition, of course, that you, you're the copyright holder. You cannot obviously not <laughs> place a Creative Commons license if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, own a copyright. Um, you just go to this page, page you say, um, uh, can, can it be shared? Uh, should others share the like? Can it be used for commercial, pu uh, commercial purposes? And then you just like, it uh, generates the license automatically. It also allows you to add metadata. Um, which can also be seen then if, if it's clicked through, um, so like uh, the URLs or um, the license marks. And then um, you can just uh, paste the, the logo and uh, if you want to the code on your, on your website, on your work. Um, that's basically what Creative Commons uh, licenses are. Um, we are actually active on so many, it's, it's used by, by users in so many different, uh, so many different areas. Um, we will hear Christina and Alec later on there. Uh, they're going to talk about open educational resources where Creative Commons licenses are very often used. Christina is going to talk about photography. Um, for example, <coughs> Flickr, which is uh, the, the photo <coughs> site. A lot of people use uh, Creative Commons licenses to, uh, to share their photos. Uh, other artists. Um, it can also be uh, used uh, for uh, archives and databases. Um, it can. It's uh, Creative Commons licenses are also promoted by open access uh, to research advocates. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that that uh, uh, publishers like PLOS, uh, um, the Public Library of Science, actually 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 um, publish everything under a Creative Commons uh, CC BY license. Um, of course, in GLAMS, uh, to give some example, I think the Rex Museum in Amsterdam, for example, have licensed, um, released a lot of their pictures under a Creative Commons license. Uh, musicians, I know, I think the most famous example is, is uh, Nine, Nine Inch Nails, I think, have released an album under a Creative Commons license. Um, just, yeah, this, so this is all just to show. By the way, these icons are from the Noun Project, which is a very cool project, which I suggest you check out. They're also. Uh, under a uh, Creative Commons license uh, available. Um, we are structured, and that, that's perhaps the, the, the biggest strength of the Creative Commons network is actually that it's based on such a big, large number of volunteers like Darius and Louisa, and they have, um, we have over 100 teams all over the world. Um, they're called affiliates. Um, most of the time the teams exist of, a, of, a legal, of, of some legal people who are really uh, yeah, very, very familiar with uh, helping to build a license, help to tweak the license, help to... Uh, yeah, they, they don't really give le legal advice because we don't do that, but they have some, they can offer some, some guidance about the use of the license to the users. Uh, and there's, in most teams, there also, um, there's a public lead, which is basically the people that promote the license um, and, and, and yeah, spread the word about Creative Commons. Uh, so I've listed there a bit what, what we do and some features of the teams because we have teams like, like Louise and Darius who, all, all, who have been active for almost 10 years from the start of Creative Commons. But right now we are also working with teams that are really like very young people, like, like students who wants to start up new Creative Commons teams. There's, there's some shift with volunteer, with, uh, in the volunteering teams. Like the, the mature teams are, are people are, are, are um, attracting new members. So that's actually um, my job. I'm the regional coordinator together with, um, with John Weizmann from Berlin. I'm the regional coordinator in Europe. And actually, we, um, we try to guide the volunteers a bit and help them with the practicalities and help them with um, communications with headquarters. Uh, because also, of course, Creative Commons is it's an American organization. They're based in Mountain View in uh, California. They're a team of uh, 20 people. And um, with, they actually have created the licenses, but there's a lot of, it's, it's very bottom-up from, from the uh, local volunteers. This is some of the projects that we are working on. I, I invite you to check out the links. I have some links at the end of the presentation if you're interested in, in uh, any of these. Um, we're involved in the Open Policy Network, which actually is, uh, gathers uh, all sorts of open policies, funder mandates about open, openness. I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> how I should describe this. Um, we also have, are, are starting up a CC Toolkit project, which you might, you will, might hurt, you, <laughs> I'm sorry, you will hear, hear of, okay. Um, which is basically going to be like a set of very user-friendly uh, thematic uh, kits with, with information about how to use 
Creative Commons licenses, uh, and then it's going to be targeted to specific groups, uh, to specific, uh, specific subjects. Um, this is something that we heavily rely on our volunteers to. So this is not something, not something bottom. Uh, this is not something that headquarters creates and then, then distributes. This is really something that our volunteers will participate in. Um, <coughs> Another example of what we do is, is uh, we are partnering the School of Open, which is courses about, uh, about everything related to openness. It's together with the uh, Peer-to-Peer University. Um, there are all uh, uh, courses available on the web, so I invite you to check out the page, and if you're interested in it, you can, always, you can follow a course. Um, there's a big um, fundraising aspect to the Creative Commons organization, too. This is, uh, this is our this, this year's campaign, Team Open, uh, because we, re we rely heavily on, uh, on funds. And then uh, we, and this might be very relevant for Europe, is uh, we have European Open Education Policy Project, which is Alec, I think, is going to talk about a bit uh, later on, so I'm not going to say much about that. Um, a little bit more about Europe. We're uh, over 40 uh, teams, almost 40 teams. Um, we have some very interesting projects going on with new teams being established. Um, uh, you'll hear about it when they are launching, because it's very, it's very exciting for us to hear from, for example, uh, countries like, like uh, Cyprus or, or um, Belarus or... Um, we're still looking for a team in Scotland too, if any Scottish people are in the, in the, room, <laughs> in the room, contact me and uh, we, might, we might have a talk. Um, basically, that's what I, what I wanted to say. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email me and, uh, like I said, the links and the attributions for all the images are... Uh, are in my presentation. Thank you.